appreciating that. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I've got my question mark. I've got my hat. I've got my glasses. What is heaven like? Well, we've seen it's like treasure, haven't we? We've seen it's like a special pearl. We've seen it's like a mustard seed. Are your mustard seeds beginning to grow yet? And last week, did you enjoy making your cakes? Fast tasted yummy. And there's still my glitter, this time in tubes. I had took ages to get my glitter off me. Well, this week, Matt is going to be talking with us. And so that's really fun. And it's something else which heaven is like. And so what I would like you to do is you're all going to have some coffee filters and you're going to make them, you put your hand in, and you're going to make them into fish. All right, coffee filter papers and make them into fish. And then we've got a net, which was a tangerine or a lemon, and then we're going to put the fish into the net. All right, so that's what you're going to do. I quite like my fish, I must say. I quite like this one. He's nearly a Nemo, but then the net comes over the fish. And also a special pack of fish things as well. So what is heaven like? Let's go over to Matt and see. See you next week. Bye! Thanks, Chatty Chrissy. Hiya, folks. It's really exciting to be able to share another story with you today about the kingdom of heaven. Now, I've got my woolly hat. That's going to be needed for our story. And I've got my big coat, here we go, uh, because fishermen, which is what today's story is about, um, they always need a big coat. I don't know if you've ever seen them on the, on the fishing boats, they always dress up warm, so I need my big coat. And more, most importantly, I need my fishing net, there we go, because you need one of those when you go fishing. Um, and you'll see all the fishermen down at Budley with their nets in the mornings. Now, um, before I start, I just want to say that one of the things we've been learning is that heaven is actually a bigger idea than just a spiritual place where God sits on his throne, as it were. And we're learning that. And what Jesus said in our parables is that actually the kingdom of heaven is something that came to earth with him, that came to earth when, when he was walking the earth. When he died and when he rose again, it showed that his kingdom was victorious, that he was a king who was conquering evil and that actually heaven is coming to earth. And that's what he was saying. And it doesn't always look like it, but it's true. You know, the kingdom of heaven, God's people are growing. There are more Christians today than there were yesterday. And tomorrow, at the rate it's growing, there'll be more than there were today. And that's very exciting. Um, it's a bit like the story of the mustard seed that Ruth told us a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, let's get on with our parable for today. Remember, a parable is a story with a meaning and Jesus told lots of them. So anyway, one day Jesus sat his disciples down and told them this quick story. Um, and I'm just going to read it from from the record. And uh, we're going to we're going to listen to it now. He said this, God's kingdom is like a fishing net, is our fishing net, cast into the sea, catching all kinds of fish. When it is full, it's hauled up to the beach and the good fish are picked out and put in a tub and those unfit to eat are thrown away. That's how it will be when the curtain comes down on history. Now, I wonder if you've ever been to Exmouth Harbour and seen the fishing boats come in and the fishermen, they all unload their catch and there are all different kinds of fish there and they sit there and they sort them out. And what they're doing is they're making sure only to send good fish off to the markets, fish that will, uh, will be good for us. And what they're also doing is making sure that they don't send off 
any fish that might make us ill, that, they might, that might have gone bad. And actually some fish can even be poisonous to eat. So they're sorting the fish out. Um, they sort them out and they get rid of the ones that might cause harm. And then they store the healthy ones ready in a tub, safe and sound to go off to market. And the fishermen sort everything out properly. And that's the message today from our parable. God will sort everything out properly in the end. And it's a bit of a surprise to people, our parable, because lots of people think that the world will just go on and on like it is. And obviously things do change, but they think that the world will keep going with the same old problems, the same old worries, people still hurting each other, not being kind to each other. Um, they'll be, they think that well, there'll always be disease and all of that kind of thing. But Jesus, in our story, says something different, which is really exciting because he says God will sort everything out in the end. The big story of our world and all its problems is going to have a pause button and God's going to hit pause and he'll sort everything out. The Bible says at another place that God is remaking the earth and heaven. He's remaking the heavens and the earth. God will sort out everything in the end. And Jesus told this to his disciples because he wanted them to live with this sense of time and how time was going to go on. He wanted them to know that they shouldn't just act as if everything's going to go on and on or round and round forever. And more than that, he wanted them to understand that God is coming to sort everything out. And he'll sort people out too. He'll separate, like in our parable, the good from the bad. He'll make sure that justice, that it comes in our world, that, that wrongs are righted, that everything is sorted out. And he'll make sure that when he remakes the world, in it there won't be anything or anyone that might upset things or poison things, just like those bad fish in our story, those fish that might make somebody ill. And he wanted his disciples to know that when God comes to sort everything and everybody out, all of those people who follow him will be gathered in as well. They'll be kept safe and he'll make sure that there's nothing nasty left in them that might mess things up for them again. And he'll look after them and he'll gather them to himself. And that's really exciting. And we should be excited by that, folks. We should want to be gathered in. And the kingdom of heaven, our parable says, is going to be a place where God's people are safely gathered. A place where God has sorted everything out. And it's going to be a place that doesn't contain anything or anybody that will turn anything nasty. God wants us to know that the kingdom of heaven is a place where everything will be sorted out in the end. And more than that, he wants us to choose to follow him so that he can gather us in when he's sorting everything out. And that's exciting. Let me just pray for us. Lord Jesus, thank you for encouraging us that God will sort everything out in the end. Help us to follow you so that we can know what it's like to be safe with you in a perfect kingdom where everything is remade and sorted out. Amen. Now, off you go. Go and do some of your craft or actually hold on just a second because we've got some songs to sing, including a new one this week, which is very, very exciting. So I'm going to hand over to the singing and then go and do your craft. OK, take care, folks. Bye. <laughs>
my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the towering rock of safety. Psalm 61, verse 2. called Paul wrote these words. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 18. 